If ever there was a business where you would think work would be guaranteed, it's this, funeral director. But at T. Cribben Sons, that guarantee of work has come under threat. Many of its traditional customers have moved away from its East London base, so the firm has had to adapt to survive. It's very easy in those days. You didn't need yellow pages. You didn't need any advertising. The word of mouth was strong as the grapevine. Everybody knew, you know, our family name, and it was, it was synonymous with a quality funeral. Unfortunately, now times have changed. If you're born in the East End of London now, more often than not, the first thing you want to do is move out. Faced with a fall in business, T. Cribben Sons launched a strategy of diversification. It bought up smaller undertakers in and around Essex so it could stay in touch with its traditional customer base. It moved into related areas such as exhumation work on building sites and repatriation services, even opening a branch in Ghana. But the centrepiece was rebuilding its base at Beckton. Here it offers a range of services for the many different cultural groups that have moved into the area. Offering different kinds of services has brought challenges. It is a real sort of juggle of mixing cultures with their different needs because at the end of the day we're here still because we've changed and adapted to offer each religion their needs. You learn something new every day. That's probably one of the most interesting parts of the job and when it comes to things like the washing and dressings with certain cultures, you know, you're sitting there or you're helping and assisting them and the next generation sort of looking at you going, oh, what are you doing? Like, well, you need to do this and that. Right, OK, why well, we need to do that? And you're, you feel sort of like, it, it feels quite good to know that you're explaining part of their culture to them and why they're having to do it. We're here still because we've changed and adapted to offer each religion their needs. The strategy is paying off. The firm conducts 1,500 funerals a year. Underpinning business is a sense of tradition, from the fleet of cars and hearses to an old-fashioned approach to service. My father's got an expression, you're only as good as the last funeral you conducted. Now that means we come back from one funeral, we maybe conducted another funeral within two hours after. Those cars, limousines, have got to come back in and be turned around and make sure as if it's the only funeral of the day. And that's the ethos. As the name suggests, T. Cribben Sons is a family business. Although retired, Stan Harris still takes an interest in the firm's horses. The firm's horse-drawn carriages regularly compete and win at horse shows around the country. It's an investment that boosts the company's reputation. They're excellent carriages. The earliest one's 1880, which is the Dotteridge, which does all the crib funerals. And the youngest one is the Little Marston, we call it, which is 1912. And they're all original, in good, very good working condition. We've got a 1930s Austin, and we've got two of those, and I'll drive both of those. Nice to keep myself a week varied. By increasing the size of its site, T. Cribben Sons has been able to position itself as a market leader in the provision of a wide range of funeral services to a wide range of people, something it hopes will help it survive for another century. Faced with the issue that Cribs have faced over the last uh, decade or so, uh, many other independents would have failed to adapt. Uh, they haven't, they've succeeded and gone from strength to strength. You can't assume anything anymore, whereas you could have done years ago. It's only been these last few years when suddenly the demographic change in this area has made us sit up and think, well, hold on. You know, what we sort of felt was, you know, our castle, and you felt a great strength in it just being undermined. And then you thought, you know, well, perhaps we need to be, you know, diversifying a bit if we're going to go forward as a family. My two girls have come into the business. My brother's two boys have come into business. So we're very strong in the next generation. I'm very fortunate because a lot of funeral trade now is disappearing because you know, the next generation doesn't want to come into the business. So we've been able to expand now while still keeping very much a family feel.